Good morning. My name is Logovashini Pushparaja and my metric number is 2593377. Uh, we are from Seminar in Management Thinking Group B. Today we are going to present about scholar about Robert Blake and Jane Morton. Let's see about Robert Blake. Robert Blake was born on 1918 in Massachusetts. He did his uh, Bachelor in Psychology and Philosophy from Berea College in 1940. He also did Masters in Psychology from Virginia University in 1941. He served in the US Army during the Second World War until 1945 where his investigation and research were disabled by the war. He also did a PhD in psychology from Texas University in 1947. And later on 1947 to 1964 Blake was a professor in the area of management and psychology at University of Texas. He lectured at Harvard, Oxford and Cambridge University. In mid of 1950, he started to work with uh, Jane Morton, who is a student at Exxon, developed managerial grid model in 1954 and helped to establish of a scientific method in 1964. And lastly, Robert Blake passed away in Austin, Texas in 2004. Our next scholar is Jane Morton. Jane Morton was born in Texas in 1930. She did bachelor science in mathematical education from Texas University in 1950. She did master science from Florida State University in 1950. And then she returned back to Texas University to complete a PhD in 1957. She stayed there until 1964 for exploration and instructing jobs. She met uh, Robert Blake at University of Texas. She was a former student of Blake from the Texas University. They were recruited uh, by Exxon to contemplate the board measures after Blake worked together with Exxon worker which is Herbert Shepard. They worked prompt the advancement of managerial grid and in 1961 to establishing of scientific method presently named to us Grid Global. Lastly, Jane Morton passed away in 1987. My name is Sarojini Balasubramanian and my metric number is 259344. Now I will explain about the history and definition of the management theory developed by the Robert Blake and Jane Morton. Robert Blake and Jane Morton have developed the managerial grid which is also known as the leadership grid. It was developed in the early 1960s. The model was a product of their findings at Exxon where they worked to improve the effectiveness of the leaders. They found that some leaders had concern for the production and some for the people. In 1964, Blake and Morton published their finding in the first edition of the managerial grid. So, what is the managerial grid model? Managerial grid model is a tool or a framework for understanding your leadership style. The managerial grid model is essentially going to help you understand which kind of manager you are and what your style says about you. It plots a manager's or leader's degree of task-centeredness versus person-centeredness and identifies five different combinations of the two and the leadership styles they produce. Blake and Morton identified five basic leadership styles of practicing managers representing various combinations of two behavioral dimensions stated below the first one is the concern for people this is the degree to which a leader considers the needs of team members their interests and areas of personal development when deciding how best to accomplish a task the second behavioral dimension is the concern for production This is the degree to which a leader emphasizes concrete objectives, organizational efficiency, and high productivity when deciding how best to accomplish tasks. This can be rules, policies, or performance standards. As shown in the figure below, the model is represented as a grid with concern for production as the x-axis and the concern for people as the y-axis. And the level of concern is from the number 1 until number 
where the number 1 represents the lowest constant and the number 9 represents the highest constant. This is the managerial grid model developed by the Robert Blake and Jane Morton. The five leadership styles are as follows. The first one is the impoverished management. Impoverished management is a delegate and disappear management style and a lazy approach. The manager shows a low concern for both people and production. Managers use this style to preserve job and job seniority and also protecting themselves by avoiding getting into trouble. As a result, disorganization, dissatisfaction and disharmony occur within the organization. And the second leadership style is the task management. Task management also called as dictatorial or parish style. Here leaders have a high concern for production and a low concern for people. The style is based on theory X of McGregor. The employees' needs are not taken care of and not valued. The leader pressures his employees through rules and punishments to achieve the company goals. And the third leadership style is the middle of the road. The middle of the road is a kind of realistic medium without ambition. This is basically a compromise style where the leader tries to maintain a balance between the competing goals of company and the needs of the workers. The manager gives equal concern to both people and production, hoping to achieve acceptable performance. Compromises occur where the production or the people's needs are fully met. The supervisor views it as the most practical management technique. And the fourth leadership style is the country club. In this country club style, the relationship-oriented manager has a high concern for people but a low concern for production where the leader gives thoughtful attention to the needs of people and the feelings of members of his or her team, thus providing them with a friendly and comfortable environment. The leader mainly uses reward power to preserve discipline and to support its subordinates in accomplishing their company goals. And the fifth leadership style is the team management. In team management, the manager pays high concern to both people and production. The motivation is high for the both dimensions. The soft style is based on the theory Y of Douglas MacGregor and has been termed as most effective style according to Blake and Morton. The manager encourages teamwork and commitment among employees. The application system of management theory is critical to comprehend your administration or authority style with the goal that you would and be able to recognize method of arriving at the objective situation of the chief administrator. Stage 1. Identify your manageable skill. Place 5 or 6 late circumstances where you were the one. For every circumstance, place yourself in the network that indicates one where you trust when you fit. Use your self praising initiative task to assist you with recognizing your authorities. Step 2. Identify fields where you can improve and develop leadership skills. Look at the present methodology. It is true that you are enduring widely academic in the light of the fact that it is simpler than going after action. Consider whether your style suits the circumstances you are in. If you feel that you are Task situated and afterward you can actually to improve your clicks in innovative critical thinking. Improve how you speak with them or work on your tutorial abilities. Or on other hand, on the off chance that you will be general zero in a lot on individuals, it might mean turning out the appear about looking and checking with your process or improving your dynamic. Continue with this screen your presentation and watch for the circumstances where you stick one more into 
all three of the pieces. Step 3. Put the pieces in context. T. The box style is frequently the best methodology, yet there are circumstances that point out more one thing than the other. For instance, if your organization is in the merge or some other huge change, at the point, very well may be worth to put higher accentuation on individuals than other creation. The direct them consume them through a considerable troublesome time. Similarly, when confronted with a crisis, a financial difficulty, or a physical danger, worries about individuals might be put aside. For the present moment, in this situation, any event to be accomplished, great outcome and proficiency. Contribution or benefits of management journey. The management of leadership grade is utilized to assist chiefs with breakdown of their own administration style through a procedure known as framework creation. This is finished by controlling a survey that assists directors with distinguishing how they are released as for their anxiety and creation and individuals. The preparation is focused on essential helping ideas reach the ideal condition of man to man. The management group also needs to understand how nature leadership style from these leaders can create a personal development plan to assess towards a team management style if they don't process this quality. Giving preference to the personal needs of employees get necessary after reaching a certain level. Hi everyone, my name is Prabhagaran Sanan Subramaniya. My metric number is 254235. Today I would like to continue to talk about criticism of management theory. As we know, uh, managerial grid is a simple model uh, that introduced by Blake and Mountain, uh, which can help managers to identify individual leadership style uh, appropriate on their concern for tasks and concern for people based on the answer that they are given. However, in this model, there is uh, some drawbacks which can affect the overall performance, team motivation, and working environment. So I have a list. I have list out three main uh, criticism of this theory. So let's check it out. The first criticism is James Kohler versus behavior theory. As I mentioned earlier, that in managerial grid, uh, Black and Mountain have list out five main types of leadership style, which is determined by the two axes. Uh, they have uh, concern for the task and concern for the people. So, in their views, uh, team style is one of the ideal approach, which is balance balancing the concern for the task and the concern for the people. But James Kohler strongly disagree with this approach. This is because this approach is is not suitable for all circumstances. This is because. Um, if happen any emergencies or turnaround, the overall result that we get from this uh, approach will be changed. So, he strongly criticized that the team style approach is not suitable for all the circumstances. The second criticism is uh, managerial grid neglect the essences of internal and external factors. Internal and external factors are important elements either in business or world economics. It included culture, work environment, technology, economics, and so on. For your example, a business world encompasses with different or various cultural the belief and views of people uh, from Western countries are not similar with the people who are stay in Asia. Therefore, the organizational culture also can be differ depending on the nature of the work, and in in certain situation. A more task oriented approach uh, might not be suitable or sufficient as you might think. In addition, the green zone of the board, which Blake and Mountain recognize as the sound administration, um, is not really uh, consistently as simple or even alluring to accomplish. The last criticism is there is a minimal empirical data to support its effectiveness. The grid model does not have enough or exact information to propose the manager who are high on task orientation and low on people orientation would eat up as dictatorial managers. 
so in this way uh, there is a great deal of assumption involved with the findings and the graphs implying that you should not uh, depend on the grid to figure out your managerial career for your information even blake proceed to develop a different types of leadership styles later on finding the original grid somewhat insufficient leadership style and figuring out which one is the best can be a complex issue so that inaccurate data and information can lead to the less effectiveness in determining uh, what types of leadership styles can really appropriate to use that's all from me thank you